Penny Marshall has led an extraordinary life from the streets of New York to the Hollywood Hills, and she'll admit that it's all been, well, a little nuts. This morning, Bill Whitaker looks back at her hit-filled career on both sides of the camera. Hey, Fonzie! Hey, the Fonzie! It was a date with the Fonz on Happy Days that started Penny Marshall on her journey to the Hollywood A-list. Marshall's Laverne and Cindy Williams Shirley were such a hit in primetime, they soon had a TV show of their own. Laverne and Shirley debuted on January 27, 1976, and by season three, it was the most watched television show in America. After seven years on top, Marshall's friend Whoopi Goldberg convinced her to move behind the camera. I don't dance, Mr. Talbot. Directing Goldberg in Jumping Jack Flag. How'd you do that? Her sophomore effort, Big, turned out to be huge. And Marshall became the first woman to direct a film that earned $100 million at the box office. It also earned Tom Hanks his first Oscar nomination. Are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Marshall went on to direct a string of memorable films. That's not waiting, that's swimming. Come on, Leonard. Leonard, I don't know if the hospital's covered for this. Defined by both their humor. How am I going to tell my parents about this? I can't even talk to them about the weather. How am I supposed to tell them that I committed a mortal sin? And heart. For CBS This Morning, Bill Whitaker in Los Angeles. Penny Marshall, the title of the book is My Mother Was Nuts. Yes, she was. But what, I'm a little what, nuts too, so it's right I know. I, I was trying to figure out a dignified way to ask, but after reading the book, I'm thinking, you might be a little nutty too, Penny Marshall. Well, I don't deny that. Uh huh. Yeah, everyone's a little nuts. We're all nuts. No, you look back over your life because you start out with this. You had to, uh, not much personal drama growing up with parents who hated each other, two marriages, <laughs> divorces, the ups and downs of various relationships, raising a daughter, watching friends crack up and overdose. There was that cancer thing too. But when you look back over the body of your life, don't you think all in all it's turned out okay for you? Absolutely. Yeah. I luck knock, knock something on wood, wood <laughs> under here yeah. is wood. This is glass. I don't know what that does. Um, but yes, no, I've been, lived a lucky life. I think a lot of life is luck. You talk very candidly about your looks. You were in a commercial with Farrah Fawcett. There was a movie role where it said, then we're going to go to the plain girl doing something. Homely girl. Homely girl. Homely girl at bar. Homely girl at bar, Penny. Why do they write that? I don't know. I don't know. And, and But you talk very candidly about how you were never happy with the way that you look. Still not. I was going to ask you, at this age now, don't you feel... Haven't you gotten to the place where you go, this is who I am, I'm comfortable in my own skin, or no? I'm a little fat. <laughs> I'm a little chubby here. But you're on Jenny Craig. <laughs> yes, but I didn't get it off of here yet. Penny, is there such a thing as the good old days because you were married to Rob Reiner and your house seemed to be the place where everybody came? We were the stable couple, if you could imagine that. <laughs> no, you say that. I mean, the names, Nora, that used yeah. to come to her house, talk about those days where people, who we would come over just to sort of relax at Penny Albert and Rob's? Albert Brooks, who was Rob's best friend. Yeah. Um, Billy Crystal came over, Jim Brooks. There were a lot of writers, Jerry Belson, Harvey Miller, you know, who had passed, but... You know, Chuck Roden. I mean, whoever was around came oh. over, and they'd be funny. You you write a lot about the drugs. <laughs> well, that was the seventies and eighties, baby. Yeah. And you what about born? <laughs> <laughs> I was born. <laughs> but none of that now. None no. of that now. Yeah. No. I did it. You, you, you talk very candidly about the drugs, and then if, if that isn't enough, you get a, a brain tumor and cancer. Yes. And you point out that uh, you're one of the few people that actually gain weight on chemotherapy. Most people lose. 60 pounds. Yeah, but you gain weight on chemotherapy. And I got hard nails. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but Penny, once yeah. that happens to you, do you yeah. have a moment where you go, why, why me? Did you ever have that moment? No, I asked for White Castle. <laughs> yeah, you, you did, you did. <laughs> I mean, I deal with tragedy, or I deal with bad things very calmly. And um, when I'm bored is when I'm in trouble. You talk about Tom Hanks and Big, which, by the way, Nora, if it hadn't, if it had gone a different way, Rob De Niro would have been in Big. I just can't oh, yeah. even imagine anybody yeah. other than Tom Hanks in that. Well, role. no, he went to Tom. 
Tom turned it down. Everybody turned it down. So I said, let me go another way and get a man, not a boy child, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bobby wanted to do a commercial film. No, but Tom, Hanks, so. Bob, uh, Tom Hanks writes about you. Penny Marshall's a fascinating woman who has lived a life, da da da. Uh, do you know she gave me two of the best jobs I've ever had? Of course not, because when she talks, she's barely comprehensible. That's true. Read her memoir and you'll come to love her as much as I do. Did you ever think about changing your voice, Penny? Because you do have a very distinct way of speaking. Well, my father sent me to the University of New Mexico right. and my brother and sister to Northwestern for all of us to lose our Bronx accents. Wow. It didn't work. Yeah. Will you do another movie? I'd rather do television because it's faster. Mm -hmm. I don't do vampires, I don't do horror, I don't do car crashes, I don't do people in big metal suits. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there you go. Okay, and we should say we started the interview asking Penny, did you want to wear your sunglasses? And you said, Yes. Are you sure you want to wear them? And you said, Yes. And I'm not glaring at my camera, guys. <laughs> no. No, also, no. I know how to do this. Penny Marshall, the name of the book is My Mother Was Nuts. It's now on sale. Please buy it. <laughs>